King, and as was projected last night, former defensive coordinator of the Chicago Bears, Buddy Ryan, was introduced today as the new coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. Thank goodness he's not coaching Wallaceburg. <laughs> well, he's totally alienated Wendell's and Wallaceburg. <laughs> all What's the name of that town again? <laughs> Final score, Michigan 81, Northwestern 45. Well, the Montreal Expos, this is the big news, the Montreal Expos have switched beers. Are you ready for this? After 17 years with O'Keefe Brewery as a sponsor, there's O'Keefe right there. Okay, after 17 years with O'Keefe, all right, they O'Keefe is now out, and they are pouring one with Labatt's Brewing Company. Okay, and Expo President John McHale says this is a very big deal. How big deal is it? Fifty million dollars. Labatt's will be the Expo's. What upside down? Oh. <laughs> That's how big a deal it is. 50 million bucks. Labatt's will be the Expo's major TV and radio sponsor for the next five years. Meanwhile, the Molson Classic Bowling Challenge takes place this coming weekend. And that's going to be at the Rose Bowl. One of the top matches will pit Scotty Lachlan against Wayne Dubs. And what I'd like to know is when the press club sent these bottles of beer over, they were full, guys. They're not full anymore, so who drank the beer? Anyway, lots of beer action today uh, uh, all over the world. They're controlling sports, and that's it in sports tonight. And what I'm wondering is how many members of our audience have now gone to the fridge to open a cold one? <laughs> <laughs> and which one did they choose? <laughs> they lost yesterday. Let's go to the arena right now. At the end of one period of play, Guelph leads the Spitfires by a score of 2-1. to one. Guelph won yesterday by a score of 4-3. to three. Now, can the Spitfires get even? Leave them purses in the dressing room. All right, can they get even? Sure, they had a bad first period, but they'll play good in a second. Can they get even? They're going to win 5-4 on overtime. All right, what do you have to say? Let's go out to the highlights. Last week's number two, Michigan, has dropped off to six after their first loss of the week last week. Scott Skiles has been named the Big Ten Player of the Week. He scored 45 points yesterday in the game. Super Bowl hype, we love it. Look, did you see the Sunday papers? We got Super Bowl hats. We got Super Bowl 21 tickets. That's next year. We have uh, uh, cookies for Super Bowl, coffee for Super Bowl, a Super Bowl poster. Listen, if you're a fan of the Chicago Bears, you got to like the Blues Brothers out of Chicago. The Blues Brothers were in town. They're going to help us all week long. Let's go to the Blues Brothers. The Blues Brothers are in town. They're going to be with us all week long. They predict a 17-14 score, six days to the Super Bowl. And our Super Bowl hype story tonight, last week, we heard about the Chicago Bears making a video. Well, they're making a video for the New England Patriots. Let's go to the videotape. Bobby Gold, boom. That makes a score 6-3. to three. That's all Washington needed. The final score, 7-5, to five, Washington over Minnesota. The other games are just getting started right now. We had some OHL scores we were looking forward to for Spitfire fans. Nothing came in over the wire for the OHL scores tonight. I don't know why. Great Lakes Junior C did come in, though. Bell River, number two, defeats Leamington 8-3. to three. And Essex over Wallaceburg. We finally get a Wallaceburg score. You know why? Because it took Essex to call it in. Essex wins it 7-2. to two. Uh, we have the results now. The ratings are out for the Canadian universities, okay? We're going to see where the University of Windsor sits right now. The top ten universities in Canada for volleyball, girls, no Windsor. For basketball, women, no Windsor. Men now, okay? Basketball, no. Volleyball, no. But in hockey, Windsor is ranked tenth. Terrific. Okay, it's time now for our countdown to the Super Bowl. Let's go to the Blues Brothers to give us the number of days remaining to count down the Super Bowl. Five days to the Super Bowl, and the Blues Brothers are picking Chicago 17-14. <laughs> Our Super Bowl hype for tonight is what to bet on on Super Bowl Day. Apparently, the winning team isn't the only thing that you can bet on, according to the odds makers. 
Crazy. You can bet on anything. Our athlete of the week comes from the sport of basketball. Let's go to the court. Listen, it wasn't like that when I played basketball, but the high school athlete of the week this week is Bob Stockwell from Riverside Secondary School. Here's Bob right here. Congratulations, Bob. Before we talk to you, though, let's find out why you were chosen the athlete of the week. Peter Guthrie, you're the